hey everybody welcome back to my youtube channel long time no see today i'm going to be doing a diy quick weave flip over i'm just showing y'all how um how much hair i left out and how i braided my hair down this is how i always braid my hair down for clip uh for glue ins um or even wigs i don't really need like small tiny tiny braids it don't really matter to me but so first i just got like this wig cap the beauty supply hat a pack of five so i just got this one the wig cap really doesn't matter to me because um all i do is just place it on my head cut the airs out and it really is just to create a barrier in between um the hair glue and my hair because obviously i don't want to get a lot of glue in my hair even though you know i'm really really good at putting the um, glue protecting on still i just you know i like to make sure you know, it's some type of barrier there. And as you can see, it's more hair left on one side, out on one side than it is on the other. Because I really won't be wearing my hair out on the right side, just on the left. So now I'm going to put the glue protector down. I know a lot of people really don't use group glue protectant. But I use it and um, I think that it works best on my hair. I don't like to do a glue in without it. Um... It is a great way to protect your hair if you're hoping for some type of, you know, protection on your hair, between your hair and the hair glue. I forgot what brand I use, but it's the black one. I really don't use the clear one. Some people do use the clear one, but I don't, I haven't used it ever. The clear one is new. Uh, people just started using that one. I really don't see the difference between the clear and the black glue, so I just use the black one. Um, so in this clip, you'll just see me put in the black hair glue on there yes baby sorry y'all my baby was talking to me but i just like to evenly distribute the hair glue to make sure that it's getting onto my hair properly so yeah i use a bleaching hairbrush to like brush it all down and i'm turning to the back so y'all can see me doing the back of my hair i also sometimes will put the glue protectant on the brush and then brush it onto my hair as well yeah, so as I'm like brushing and, um, you know, making sure everything is on my hair, you'll see me just keep going down more and more and more. Now, y'all, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I feel like I missed a few spots, but for the most part, I think I got my entire head with this glue. Um, I did cut the, the clip kind of short, but I did make sure that I got the entire head um before i went in for a second layer <clears throat> this was just my first layer <clears throat> and then after i did put my first layer on i did um blow dry because blow drying is very important you want to make sure you get it as dry as possible so it doesn't start slipping and sliding and blending in with the glue now after my hair is completely dry which takes about 30 minutes for me i'm old school i like to wait the full 30 minutes i don't want anybody rushing on this part of the process right here so after i'm done with that i just cut the extra cap off that i don't need because you don't need all of this cap to go on your head um so i'm just showing y'all how i cut off the front and then i show y'all how much i cut off in the back um and that's basically all i do in the beginning process so once i start like the whole gluing process i just took the weave wig weave out and i sprayed it like with some hairspray and then i just started gluing it down like i'm starting to cut it at first the first track i lay ear to ear now this is my first time doing this method i've been seeing it all over social media now but i do remember my sisters and my cousins they used to do this hairstyle back in the day like leaving the front out and then sewing the back end i should have went up a little bit further now that the hairstyle is actually complete and in my head but i mean doing it this way it's really not it really i really didn't see anything wrong with the way i did it it's just like the next time i do do this hairstyle myself i am going to um go down a little bit i mean go up a little bit more also i am going to um probably like lighten my bundles because i really am stuck hell bent on not dyeing dyeing my real hair or putting any type of permanent semi-permanent dye in my real hair i don't care um i'm not in the business of that and i don't want to do it anymore so as you can see i'm just laying my tracks cutting them so as you can see i'm just cutting the tracks and i am gluing gluing everything down i just put a few clips of me um cutting my hair and gluing it in into the video i really didn't want to waste any time because i mean it's 
the same process that everyone else uses. I'm just making sure that I'm laying each track directly on top of each other. I do have a full three bundles in my head. Um, as you can see, I'm going all the way around. I'm not, I'm feeling the track that's below it. So I can make sure I'm not laying tracks directly on top of each other. So that way I'm not wasting hair. But I did wish I had sleuthed it up a little bit more. Next time I'm going to remember that. And I'm also going to, next time I'm also going to move my part a little bit to the side that I'm mostly going to wear it on. Because having it in the middle just didn't make any sense to me when I knew I wasn't going to wear my hair in the middle of my head. And the reason being is because um, a few months ago when I decided to take care of my dad, I lost a lot of my hair in the middle of my head. And it was like in the front. So I'm not really going to touch the middle or the right side of my head. I'm mainly going to be wearing my hair to the left side. But um, yeah, so this is just me blow drying my hair and going all around. So I'm just be quiet for a little bit so you all can see the rest of the process. Now I'm giving uh, in this and right here in this part, I'm gonna give y'all a full um, clip of how it looks in the back um, because I do turn around when I'm laying this down, like and I can show y'all how I'm like feeling for the track below it because I just want to make sure I'm not laying the tracks directly on top of each other. But I do want to say that yeah, I definitely should have brought it up some more because I feel like I ran out of hair. Well, I felt like I was running out of hair towards the end. I probably wasn't. I just probably was laying them too close to each other. Um, but as you can see here, like, I'm feeling around. I'm pushing everything down. I'm moving up the track if I got to move up the track because it might have slipped, you know, and fell on one side of one track. So I'm just making sure I get everything, like, all the way, like, pushed down and together. Now... My light did turn off while I was, it died while I was recording. So I had to just like skip to the ending part, which is the most important part. And this is when you get into the top. This is when you really, really, really need to pay attention. You really, really need to be feeling around, letting the tracks loose. Like as you're measuring everything, don't try to be as tight handed on them. So at the top part was when I started like circling and this is when I started getting to the end. This is when I realized I should have moved the part to the side because now my part just falls in the middle. So even if I wanted to do like a cute clip back or something or a braid on the side, that would be like very hard to do because of how I did the initial glue down. Um, but as you can see here, I'm just pressing everything down. I'm going to keep going until I get... A little bit closer to the top um and then as and then um i just glue down like whatever extra pieces i had missed because sometimes i may rub off some of the glue on the track before it so no biggie i just glue it down and then after that i just blow dry i kept doing this same repeated thing at the top now this part is very tedious it also made my arms hurt but i mean obviously i got through it because i'm finished now but um, as you can see, I'm still going, I'm still trying to make it as tight as possible at the top. I'm trying to close that circle as much as I can because I don't want no big tracks laying across the top of my head. Now, as you can see in the next clip, I'm going to start laying them, um, uh, what's that horizontal? Yeah. Let me know if I, I said that right. Um, I'm going to start laying them horizontally so I can like finish off the hairstyle. Cause this is basically coming to an end. Mm, I love the way this turned out. I thought it was really, really cute. And this is just to basically me showing. This is basically me showing y'all the end of the hairstyle, like how it's supposed to look in the end. This is when I realized I probably should have dyed my dyed the bundles a little bit. Not even dyed the bundles. I may just like next time lighten them because my hair is like darker at the roots and then lighter at the tips because of in the past when I cut my hair off, I dyed it but it's okay next time i'll just remember that for next time but right now i'm not in the mood to dye my hair or put any um coloring in my hair to make it darker or anything like that so this was basically the last track and then after that i'm just swooping it to the side that i'm normally going to wear it on just so i can like see what it looks like and this is when i this is the part exactly the time where i realized i should have did the swooping and the tracks to the side that i will, will mainly be wearing my hair on 
Um, but okay, but it's it's okay because for the most part, I could just like put a bobby pin in there or, you know, put something in there to hold the hair down closer to the tracks. Um, I'm most likely gonna hot comb my hair when I start working. I mean, when I start my new job or whatever. I'm not gonna hot comb it right now, just because I don't feel like I need to. Um, this is just like, you know, me trying out the hairstyle or whatever. I don't need to hot comb it. So I did use this little, um, razor thing to like cut some, um, to bring like some dimension to the hair from when I'm, um, curling it. So yeah, I just felt like it needed a little bit of dimension. So now I'm just like combing it out, combing out all the extra hair I already took out. So that way I can start, um section the hair off to be um to start like having to start curling it or whatever i think that this was the most important part because i forgot to brush it like all the way all the way through i mean i was brushing it too hard and like some of the tracks came out because i didn't blow dry it fully so just make sure when y'all blow drying it um i mean when y'all gluing it down y'all fully blow drying it or whatever uh, but as you can see, I'm just going to start sectioning off the hair to be curled. I'm not going to do the full curling tutorial. I'm sorry. We're not doing that today. But I am section. I did section off my hair to be curled because it's easier for me to curl in sections with hair like this because it's really, really thick. So I am sectioning off the hair to be curled. Um, and I did about, mm, five or six sessions, two at the top, two in the, two or three in the middle. And then I think I did about three at the bottom. So actually more. So it was what, eight sections in total. Um, it did turn out very, very pretty. Um, I'm going to start curling the next clip. So the bot, this is the, this is how I section the hair in total. So two at the top, two in the middle, and then it was about three or four sections at the bottom. Um, I'm only showing y'all how I curl, which way I curl, which was I curled to the um, right. I curl my whole head to the right because that's the way I'm going to be wearing my hair. The parts is going to be on the left hand side. So I curl my hair to the right. Um, and as you can see, I'm using the second to smallest wand curler. That's not really the biggest wand curler. I mean, the smallest wand curler they have. I chose the second to the smallest, and I think that was like a Con Air. I'm not really sure. I got it at the beauty supply for like $28 or something. And I am using the Sebastian Shaper Hair Plus. Um, and you could normally find those right now at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something like that for like $15. They are on sale. Now, these pieces right here that I curled to the left, um, they were mixed in with my natural hair. Um, yeah, so those will mix it with my natural hair, um, but you'll see me curling those to the front because I need to make sure that my natural hair is blended in with the actual hair, but you know, I'm just going to be quiet now for real because it did turn out cute and I'm talking too much, but yeah, um, yeah, so y'all going to see me curling the rest of my hair and yeah. Y'all, this is the final look. I was so happy with the way my hair turned out. Because honestly, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I thought it was going to be kind of ugly. Because I don't know. I'm just... I haven't worn my natural hair out in so long. But I'm so happy that I chose kinky straight hair. Um, because normally I would have chosen like really, really straight hair. Brazilian straight hair. Um, but this time I decided to go with something that was more of my hair texture. Because I wanted it to be cute. So I did do kinky straight um hair um yeah so yeah and i hope y'all like this video and i will see y'all my next video hopefully it's not a million years from now bye